it up. My dad in the street against a heavyweight. I've gone back to the dad. I've punched him a few more times. Five blokes outside my front door. You coming out? One hell of a fucking story. So stay tuned. This is Joe P for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Delighted to be joined here. We're floating on a boat. A bit of vibrations, Chris Artinstall and Lauren Price. How are you both? A bit windswept here, like, but no, nah, it's, it's a good day. The sun's out for us and exciting times. Now Saturday can't come quick enough. Yeah, let's hope the whip, uh, rain rolls off. But yeah, buzzing to be here um, in fight week. Can't wait for Saturday. It's the start of a very, very big fight week, an historic fight week for female boxing. And away from that, kind of one of the most anticipated fights in the whole of boxing right now in Shields Marshall. Yourselves are both on the card. How does it feel, first of all, Lauren, to be on a card of this magnitude so early on in your career? Oh, yes, a really proud moment for me. Um, you know, I feel honoured to be on, a, on such a big, big card, you know, with, even with the co-headliner and then the headliner... Um, yeah, really excited to be part of it and looking forward to, you know, boxing in front of 20,000. That's it's pretty special, I know. You've both been on kind of big sky cards through a, throughout your whole short but kind of big career. But curious, is this one going to be different for you on uh, Saturday? Oh, yeah, 100%. This one will be different compared to my Coventry, my debut one. Um, there's, there's a big difference in, like, even just the arena, but... The changing room. The changing room as well, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I hope there's a difference anyway, but um, yeah, I can't wait. And like both the fights leading into it, like the co-headline and the headline, both of them are worthy enough of being headliners um, on any card, full stop. Um, I just can't wait to get in there now and get the job done. Hopefully get in and out quick as I can, put my feet up, watch my girlfriend do her fight and then co-headline in uh, main event, can't wait. You were both announced, I think, in Newcastle that you were signed to Boxer. And from the start, kind of Ben Shalom, the Sky team, has said that yourselves are too emotionally invested to fight on the same card. And within, what, five, six months, you are fighting on the same card. So who persuaded who to fight on the same card together? It wasn't really about persuasion. It was just, look at the card. Do you know what I mean? It speaks for itself. And if we're going to do it, this is the card to do it on. It's a phenomenal card full of incredible talent from top to bottom so I'm not gonna I can't say I'm gonna do this again like fight on the same card again um, especially as the fights get bigger we're both fighting for world titles etc but at the minute this is the perfect timing to be doing it on and the perfect card to be doing it on will you be uh, sharing a dressing room getting ready preparing for the fight together oh yeah 100% um, I'll be there I think York, York Harris is going first so even if I'm not ringside I'll be in the you know changing room watching her on the telly supporting her but yeah you know we train together live together um, yeah we'll be in the same changing room is any of you concerned about the stress of kind of seeing each other in the ring and knowing that you've just fought or you're fighting after I'm in first so I've got it good I can get in she'll be nervous about me if she's if anyone's going to be nervous and then I can deal with my nerves afterwards I've had my fight so I'm kind of lucky but I'm not massively worried about Lauren. Obviously, it's boxing, so there'll be a few nerves there for me on her behalf. But I know what she's capable of doing. I train alongside her. I spar her. I live with her day in, day out. Um, I know what she can do, so I'm confident she'll get the job done. So, Lauren, you've got the difficult one. You've got to sit there in the dressing room. It might not be ringside. You're, you're mentally got to kind of get yourself into fight mode, knowing that kind of Curtis is in the ring as you're kind of maybe even wrapping your hands doing the pads yeah do you know what um, I'm pretty I, I'm used to that anyway obviously being a higher weight in uh, the amateur she was normally on before me and same in the Olympics um, she actually had three fights medal before I had one so um, yeah it's nothing nothing new to me there but uh, no like I said I look forward to you know putting on a good performance I know how hard she trains I train alongside her like she just said and yeah, I'm just looking for two of us, you know, to go out there and shine. It's a phenomenal card, and I'm 100% we're both going to do that. Both expected to see big improvements in the ring from uh, your last fights? It's only been a few weeks, so I won't be expecting anything drastic, but um, I won't be doing no backflips or anything like that either to celebrate, but nah, hopefully what we've both been working on in the gym comes to light and shows in the ring. As long as I can see that and my coaches can see that, then I'm happy that the progressions are. Same for you. Yeah, 100%. We can see, you know, in training, we can... Every week we're there, um, we're making little improvements and 
yeah, that's all that matters, you know, each fight little step ups each time and like Kara said, we only fought a couple of weeks ago so there's not going to be nothing drastic but, you know, we, we train Monday to Friday every week, um, we train hard and, and that's where the improvements, you know, are made and I'm sure on, on, on Saturday we'll, we'll see a little bit of improvement from both of us. Now we know you're both students of boxing, both big boxing fans. Seeing at home, when you're watching the big fight nights, the 50-50 fights, is there ever kind of rows who's going to win or do you usually see the fights going the same way? No, we'll sit there with the iPad and we'll like call them out and we'll, we'll judge each round. We're no judges obviously, but it's just nice to see how we see it and how it's seen from the professional judges themselves. Um, but no, we, we pretty much agree on the majority well, of them, don't we? Yeah, like she, when we're judging them. Yeah, she wound me up um, though, when Joe Cordina was going for his uh, <laughs> world title fight, obviously me being Welsh, and I was like, oh, J Joe's the boy, you know. And um, obviously he was fighting this the Japanese guy, and she was like, oh, you got power you have. And uh, as soon as Joe knocked him out, I was like, oh, there you go, in your face kind of thing. But um, yeah, no, we're, we're pretty sound on that. And we kind of, obviously, we watch each round, like Kara said. We're no judge, but we kind of like try and follow it and mark it down and yeah, go from there, really. No dodgy decisions then from either right and saw or Price? No, we're always fair, to be honest. We're usually on the same wavelength, uh, whether that means anything or not. I don't know, we're not judges, like I said, but there's got to be something right if we're both agreeing, maybe. So, are you both on the same wavelength for the headline? Shields Marshall is dividing a lot of the boxing world. First of all, Paris, how do you see the fight going? Yeah, we are. We both feel like Savannah can get it done. She's got the ingredients and the tools to get it done. Um, it's not going to be easy at all. She's going to have to turn up on the day. I believe, obviously, she's trained really hard. She's going into a, a world title fight against the top girl in her weight category. So, if she hasn't trained hard, then more for her. But I believe she has. And I believe she, 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 I'd love for her to get the job done, but it's, it's just going to be difficult because, oh, I don't know, it's hard. I always, I always stop my words because I just can't make a final decision. How about you, Lauren? What way do you see it going? Yeah, I've gone, to be fair, I've gone with Savannah all the way through, you know. Um, don't get me wrong, obviously, like Clarissa Sheen, she's double Olympic gold medalist. She's, you know, she's the champion and credit to her, she's coming over here. Uh, so fair play, take my hat off her. She's a great, great role model as well, you know, to look up to. But for me, I just think, obviously, since Savannah's uh, linked up with Peter Fury, we've seen a change in her confidence in and outside the ring. Um, I think the partnership works really well, and yeah, I just, I don't know, I just, I just think Savannah's going to win, whether that's not got all points. I'm just going to stick with her. He's filming about that. He's filming. I might be as well. <laughs> just the cameraman there, just, uh, just casually just walking past our interview. So we know how much you've kind of done for female boxing with the Olympics, the medaling, but how much do you think this is going to do Saturday night, kind of growing the sport as a whole? It's incredible to see female headlining the card. Obviously you had uh, Katie Taylor and Amanda Serrano headlining in Madison Square Garden, which is phenomenal. So to see it again with this massive rivalry, it's just good for us that are coming through now. Obviously we've got a well, an incredible amateur background, but to then step through into the pro ranks, looking up to them, that's where we want to be. We want to be headlining the big shows, so it's great to see. And obviously, you both met in Tokyo, but that was behind closed doors. There weren't very many people there. On Saturday night, there's going to be a packed out Ota Arena. That's surely going to feel special, isn't it? Yeah, hundred percent. You know, just obviously, I love to bring walk. You know, the last the last fight I had. So yeah, it's gonna be pretty special. You know, walking out in front of twenty thousand. But when you're in there, I don't know. I just seem to kind of blank it all out and just try and listen to the corner. But yeah, I'm really excited. And like I said, I'm honoured to be fighting on you know on the card. And like Kara said, we're obviously the next generation coming through. And hopefully one day we are in 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 the same situation and headlining ourselves. I'd usually ask you to predict what happens when you step in the ring, but I'll ask you to predict each other's fight. Start with you, Karis. How do you think Lauren's going to do, and how's it going to finish on Saturday night? No pressure, but she's going to sleep. Nah, I don't know. Um, it'd be nice for us both to start our knockout reel, uh, but we'll never go looking for it, so if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, then it'll just be a, a, a cruise to a victory win. Lauren, same question to you. How's Karis going to do? Yes, same really what Karis said. Obviously, I know a lot of people talk about um, Karis's power, how hard she can hit and that, but she's a phenomenal boxer as well. Sparred against her yesterday as well, and I feel them body shots, so I feel sorry for her opponent. But um, 
no, I'm 100% confident. She's she obviously should get the win and get the winning style away with us. Stoppage, like you said, we're not going to go looking for it, but she, she a classy performance from both of us. We know you just mentioned sparring there. We know the weight difference, but very quickly, pound for pound, who's the most powerful? I'd say Karis. Karis. You agree with that? You're taking that one. I don't know. Um, I, I don't. I think she. Not doubts herself, but she doesn't give herself as much credibility as, as she should. Like she hits very hard. She's very, very fast. She's faster than any of the 57 featherweights I've been in with. She doesn't see that. Um, well, let's see if we I get. I tell you what, I punch harder than him anyway. Let's put it that way. Uh, That's Coogan behind us. That. Like a wet fish, he is, isn't he? <laughs> what did you say, Karis? What? Pillow, pillow fist. Pillow fist. Pillow fist. You're lucky we're on a boat. <laughs> Someone might be going overboard very soon. I was joking, by the way. I don't want any piece of uh, Lauren or Karis, to be honest. <laughs> well, complaint into. Well, you said you wanted to get those knockout rooms started. Who's better to start on with Coop and Cassie, you say? Yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> get my first one in with him. Excellent. Well, hopefully we do see them knockout rooms starting to form on Saturday night. Best of luck, both of you, and hopefully speak to you again soon. Thank you very much for speaking to IFL TV. Thank Cheers. You very much. Thank you. Yeah, I put my dad in the street against a heavyweight. I've gone back to the dad. I've punched him a few more times. Five blokes outside my front door. You coming out? One hell of a fucking story. So stay tuned.